This game is called Card Corruptors. Uh, the controls are a little funky. Can I use a controller? It doesn't look like I can use a controller. And mouse doesn't seem to work. I have to use uh, arrow keys and space or Z is select. Left control, Z and X. So Z is select, X is cancel. So I'll have to go ahead and use that. What's up, fluffy ponies? Do I played Heavy Man through? I have no idea. Is that is that a video game, Heavy Man? Look at options here. Can I look at options? Here we go. Okay. Full screen, V-Sync. All right, so we got some decent controls here. Uh, card interrupters. There's uh, if you check it out. If uh, if Webley is here today, I'll let him. I'll need to make him a. Uh, Make them a uh, a mod so they can post things. But let me give you all a link so I can have this copy and pasted. Uh, how do I? Give me one second while I do a, a link to this. I know there's a way to link through Steam. Share. Here we go. Okay. Uh, did it not? Oh, I think I probably have to copy that. That it showed. Copy that. I'll put the link here. I'll probably put it uh, the link in the U in the YouTube video as well. You mean Spider Man? I will play Spider Man today. I haven't played it since last Friday, but we'll do that after we check out this demo. This demo is of a game that is alpha. Uh, enable tutorial. Yes, I definitely want a tutorial. Let's see what Card Interrupters is all about. Okay, so we can move around with our arrows. I wish I could use my control. Oh, I can use the controller. Okay. Those look like spikes on the ground. Choose two bonus cards for HP and money. Uh, okay, I can move with the controller, but I can't change things here. Okay, the controls are funky. I feel like the controls might need to be swapped around. HP and money. Oh. Shuffle. Okay, what is this? Do I have to match card? Do I have to match things? 2 HP, boost to HP. Is this like a random thing? It's for a tutorial. This is not telling me much. Uh, great. All right, lose HP and I gain money. Cool. All right. So every time you walk, okay, so don't walk on the spikes. Every time you walk on one of these things, something happens. What is this? Interact. Rest and recover 10 HP. Toss card in the fire. Increase H increase rest HP by removing cards. Increased. Let's just do this. Do I have a deck? I do have a deck. Uh, remove cards to increase HP recovered by resting. I have... Deal damage, gain armor, deal damage, and inflict burn. Okay. If this is the tutorial, it's uh, not telling me much. Um, I would rather, I guess I'll remove this. Remove one thing. I can burn up to three cards. I don't know if I should be burning cards. Let's burn them all. <laughs> Uh, seems like an easy way to thin your deck. I'll do that. I just burned cards. Oh, F3. I can look at my deck. F3. So now I have two damage, two armor, and two flame. Charms. Do I have any charms? None. Okay. What is F4? That's options? Okay. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? We got a chest. Gain a dodge and gain money. Uh, what does a dodge do? I I guess you reduce lose uh, just completely. Don't take damage with the dodge. I guess. Okay, so that's a battle. Oh, I should stop walking on that. Interact. New loot. Gain two money. All right. Let's try a battle. Two, two bonus cards for the upcoming battle. Sure. Uh, oh, and it's a, this is always random. 
And you start with haste. Enemies start with two status immunity. All enemies start with defense. Plus or minus. All enemies start with slow. All enemies. I kind of wish I knew what more of the keywords in this did. Uh, if they made if nice. Okay. There was like a thing to know what different things do. That would be good. All right, here we go. We got a tutorial. Everyone must wait before their turn. This is based on their speed and everyone's is different. Character speed, cast time, four seconds. Cast lasts as long as cast time of all their upcoming skills. If I attack an enemy that's casting, B to C, I will break them. This removes the next skill from their turn. Breaking all enemy skills interrupts them, skipping their turn entirely. But breaks only happen when HP is lowered, so armor dodges are a good defense. So if I attack them while they're preparing their attack, I can stop them from attacking, which is, I guess, the card interrupters we're interrupting. Press V to swap a card in my hand with a new one from my deck. F5 to inspect status effects on everyone in the battle. I can use three cards each turn, but then go up or down and cancel or remove cards I've selected with X or left control. What's up, Shogi? Okay, so who's attacking first? The bird is attacking first. So this on you. As long as that deals damage, I'll be interrupting him. And I want to do this on this guy. And I'll then gain and avoid an attack. Although I don't know. If, I feel like I'm going to interrupt him. Although I think the number's saying... I wonder if all of our things start at the same time. We'll get a... We'll get a dodge, I guess? 3.5 second cast time. So I think this is what this is telling me. Is... I don't know. Let's see how it, what it does. Start turn. So I have a cast time. I threw a flame. What happened before they attack? Did that mean they don't get their attack off? So it looks like if they're slow, I basically wreck them. Okay. This is quite interesting combat, that's for sure. Alright, kill one guy. Shield. Okay. This music is great. <laughs> do, 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 Sounds like a... I don't know. I'm at a jazz club or something. Alright. He had some armor there. Does he get to do an attack? He just keeps shielding. They still play their turns though. You gotta interrupt them in the green spot, you think? I think it could be fun once you get more the timing of things. So maybe I need to Yeah, this is weird. I think the damage has to happen when they're in their cast phase. So it has to do with timings? Okay. Oh, we didn't take any damage, but... Uh, I would like a new charm. Play one more card each turn, always get two monies. Let's do an extra card. Okay, we got a charm now. Sure. This is always it. so. I think that fight was so easy because they had we we got them to be slowed. Start with haste and power. Nice. So yeah, I think maybe dancing pig. When you're right, maybe I I have to figure out that my attack happens when their attack is in the cast thing. I think. So I could play four cards. So what if I do 
Dodge. Shield. And then we... Who's attacking first? You're attacking first. Let's see how this works. Okay, their stuff all of a sudden went really fast. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but I think maybe there was cast time involved. That guy is spinning around for some reason. Okay. Wait, why do I get to do an extra card? Oh, it's the cast time. I see. So the more cards I play, the longer my cast time. Interesting. So I start my cast earlier. So if I say attack him, and attack him, and then do nothing else. Can I do nothing else? Oh, that just can't build a thing. E, what does E do? So let me look at my stuff. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to just go with what I have. Oh, there it is. I just, it's a little unclear. I have to press up there. What? Okay, is 0.5 seconds the time until they start their thing? Let's see what happens here. Okay, I hit the same guy twice. That's not what I meant to do. This, uh... This is confusing. There, all right, I interrupted him. We did it, and that was too early. God, this is such a weird mechanic. Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. All right, we kill him at least. Hey, what's up, Webley? I'm gonna... I'm gonna mod you so that you can post links and stuff. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that worked. Did that work? Um, I don't know if that worked. Uh, let's get a new charm. Haste when I gain airborne. Armor per second of my cast time. Sure, that seems cool. I am trying to understand how things interact in this game. This has got some... Interesting mechanics going on, that's for sure. Thought I was playing the tutorial. What is this? I like the graphics of the game. Flame Breath, deal four damage. My in six haste, gain heat and flip three damage three times. Oh wow. Are can I buy these? Two blacksmith. What is this? Looks like I can upgrade cards here. Oh, okay, I see. So I can either make this do more damage or make it cast faster. I found out how to cast early, something you need to make clearer. Yeah, it's the uh, the mechanics are a little hard to understand, but I think I'm getting a feel for it. It's all about cast time. And timing is crazy. Uh, let's go to the shop. I feel like there was stuff in the shop I wanted. Power means things like flip damage three times is really OP. I like the idea of this card, too. How much do these cost? Are there prices for these things? Hey, Shogi, thanks for the gift of subs, man. Six money. Okay, so it doesn't tell me the price until I look at it. How much does this cost? 
subscribe so bye bye thanks for subscribing this card to the channel and this dude cost me 10 i now how much does it cost to upgrade things this card can't upgrade so this would be like a strength build in uh Just like a spire or something. Three damage three times faster. Let's do the faster speed thing. Okay, gotta go. Need to show the price on the items before they're selected too. Yeah, that would be a little easier to get an idea of, of things. Oh, this is a boss fight or something. Two status immunity, armor. Ooh, I hope I don't give them haste. I keep doing this, which maybe I shouldn't, but... Okay, I get 10 armor. Oh, 7 haste. I don't know what 7 haste does, but it means they're bad things, probably. That was probably the worst one I could have given them. Okay, so... I need to understand what I'm seeing here. I think I'm seeing that Red Fist means they're going to attack in that amount of time. I believe that's what I'm seeing. So I believe if I attack 1.25 seconds is faster than 1.31. If I just do that, I'll interrupt his attack, I think. That guy on the right, I think, is going to do a buff or something. Speed haste seems to be the gray bar. I don't know. That number seven by the haste, I don't quite understand how that interprets the seconds or whatever. Now, the thing is, I also start my cast earlier, so I don't know if that 1.31 seconds... I assume that's from now, not from the time it hits the cast bar. I'm gonna do just one thing and see if that stuns him. <laughs> nice, so I interrupted him. But I do take this attack. Oh, I didn't interrupt him. I didn't interrupt him. Oh, damn it. Uh, I can't tell which one of these bugs is which. That seems another thing that maybe needs to be clear. Maybe you need to have this green symbol on this so you know which bug is doing what. What's up, Dimitrowski? Alright, well, uh, neither of them are attacking, so... 1.13 seconds on that middle guy. These things are all so fast. Can they interrupt my attacks, I wonder? God, he's got so much health. I'm gonna just try to kill a dude, I guess. I was just gonna do all my stuff. There's too many mechanics at work here and I can't understand them all with the timings. Okay, heal boss, shield boss. Okay, I killed that guy. Probably over damaged him, actually. The icon on the time bar gets bigger when you select the target enemies. It does, okay. Okay, so it does, it can tell you. So 1.5 seconds. There. So I should be able to interrupt this guy if I do just this. If I'm understanding correctly, when 1.5 seconds, he's going to get a shield or maybe give a shield to the other guy. 1.25 seconds, 0.25 seconds before he does his thing should interrupt. Let's see if this is true. I don't think it worked. I don't, I don't understand the 1.5 seconds that it is telling me. It doesn't... My brain is not getting it. Because this time doesn't change as time happens, so I don't quite understand. That should just kill him, so that's going to be all I do. Okay, so we killed that guy. He just slowed me. Okay. The time on enemies is how long it takes to go from cast to the end of the bar. Okay. Okay, so if I'm understanding correctly, this 1.5 seconds doesn't start until right here. That makes it really confusing because then... How do I know how much time is in the cast bar? Is the cast bar always... 
all of my numbers added together. Yeah, this is Webley's game. What's up, Dimitrovsky? I think I already said that. Uh, so the cast bar is going to take longer depending on how much stuff I do. How do I know how long it's going to take from for his casting to start? Like, if I want to interrupt him... Delay... What does delay turn do? Okay. Okay, it does that. Like, how... How is the... Is the player supposed to just guess the time it's going to take for him to go from here to here? Two point five nine second cast time. What I'm hoping will happen is I'll cast when he's in the green bar. That's what I'm trying to do. And I cast too fast. It looks like <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. Okay. All right, I'll just do all my damage, I guess, since he's so slow right now. I think I just kill him, and I'll do some good damage. Okay. So now he's gonna do an attack. And there's no way I can stop him. So that's fine. We'll take his damage, but we'll kill him. I should kill him, I think. I don't know how the burn status works, honestly. He's at one health with six burn. When does that burn apply? I wonder. I'm gonna just defend. I wanna see what burn does. I'm gonna just defend and see if the burn kills him. Does the burn apply at the start of... Oh, the burn just wore off. How do... What does burn do then? I'm a dragon. I am a dragon. A dragon who doesn't know what he does. <laughs> Clean mechanic, it seems there's got to be a way to clarify what's going on in the gray bar. It's a neat mix between turn base and real time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Burn. Takes two additional damage when broken. What does broken mean? Two additional damage when broken. Does burn trigger when you attack a second time? So burn's not like a passive thing. Burn. Something's got to trigger burn. I think. For tutorial, it's not telling me a lot about the mechanics, I'll be honest. Uh, I already have three charms. Do I want to add a card to my deck or do I want to gain money? I think I'd rather upgrade my stuff. Although, looking at what cards are available could be good. With Airborne, deal 12 damage, consume Airborne. So, Airborne is apparently some mechanic that I haven't seen how to gain yet. Deal 6 damage, enemy defense minus 1. That's cool. Power minus 1, defense minus 1 to all enemies. I don't want power minus. I'll take this card, I guess. Oh, we're... What? Did I just fight the boss and I'm now on a different level? I don't know what just happened. I don't know. I don't know where I am. Got a fight. Uh, sure. I'm gonna just always do this. Gray bar is based upon par character speed stat. The plan being that you pick up how fast enemies wait. Okay. So, part of the challenge of the, of the game is the player learning how to interpret the speed of enemies and how fast that affects their bar. That seems hard to understand. Okay, so... So, like, if I want to interrupt all three of these guys... 
Um, okay, I move. There we go. Um, I would need to go pretty slow, I think. They all need to be in the green area with him and to hit them. Yeah, I know. That's what I don't understand is how the players figures that out. Five second cast time. Those guys gonna go before me now. He shielded all. All right, so I did interrupt two of them. Uh, no, I interrupt. Yes, I did interrupt two of them. There we go. I interrupt two of them. The other guy was just too fast. So. Damn, didn't interrupt that. I interrupted nothing that time. This guy's gonna hit me for 12. And there's no way I can stop that. I do have that armor thing. What does this thing do again? It gives me armor for my attacks I do or something. Hold on a second, let me check something. So these guys are right on top of each other, so they're at the same speed. So... I should be able to stop both of them if I can get the right timing here. I think I need to do burn and then another damage thing for it to do anything. Who's got the most health? I can't tell which over here is which of these guys. I think I feel like you need a clearer way to differentiate how how to see their health or something. Because if you have two of the same enemy, I don't know who has got which amount of health. The tutorial is going to be developed into a separate level. Okay, that will be helpful. I think. I don't know who I'm hitting. I think the right guy is this guy, but I can't. I don't think there's any visual thing that's telling me that. Interrupted that guy. And it didn't kill him, though. Gonna heal. One second heal. I don't know if I have anything that can interrupt that. My fastest thing is 1.25. Let's see if this interrupts him. Can I card to erupt you? Yes! I did it! I did it! Uh, but I'm getting wrecked, though. Getting absolutely shrekified right now. I don't know how the burn mechanic works. I feel like the status effects need to be clarified as well. So his burn built up. It still hasn't been triggered. So that should kill him. Um, if I can attack this guy, I might interrupt him if I get it off in time. Whew! I got it! Nice! I interrupted him. I think. Press F5 to inspect status effects. F5. Okay, he doesn't have any burn on him right now. Let's... I'm not gonna be able to stop him, so I'm just gonna do that to just... apply that to see how that works. Okay, F5. What does broken mean? I, I actually looked at this earlier. 
what does it mean when this is broken? There's nothing in the game that I've seen so far that tells me when I break burn. Uh, having a streamer play through a bit seems like a good alpha test session. You get feedback from the viewers and additional player. Burns, but sad as enemies to have burn on them when you break them. But what does that mean? Oh! So I have to interrupt them for this damage to happen? Oh, that is pretty weak. When enemies only have one card, the burn is applied after the break, so it doesn't affect. So it sounds like burn's a broken mechanic, is what it sounds like, and I need to get rid of these cards right now. It doesn't affect. Break is when you hit an enemy when they're in the green section. Interrupt is when you break all their upcoming effects. Break is when you hit an enemy when they're in the green section. Interrupt is when you break all their upcoming effects. Okay. So, and burn just goes away too. Okay, the burn, I think you need to do the buff burn or explain it better or something, because it just goes away too. I don't understand why the effect just went away. Like, if it has to be triggered when they're in the green, you have to apply it and then have them uh, and then go again before they go, right? Did the flame happen? I'm not sure. I applied the burn while he was in the green. He's got some status effect. What is that? One additional... He's interrupted. Take one additional damage per stack. Okay. He should just die from this, I think. Uh, in defense. Okay. These enemies only have one attack. A break always results in an interrupt. But when enemies have multiple attacks, you need to break multiple times to interrupt. Wow, okay. Okay. Multiple times. So, goodness gracious. That sounds challenging. <laughs> I wish I knew what poison did. <laughs> uh, gain regeneration. I feel like I need regeneration because I'm hurting right now, so I'm going to do that. I like to believe burn makes them embarrassed for a turn when you hit them like sick burn, bro. They're like, oh man, that sucks. Darn that guy, bro. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's damage. Okay. Gain money. I like money. It's like a boss fight there. Yes. Oh gosh. I hope I heal and don't hurt. <laughs> nice. I'm not sure if that's like the boss fight symbol or what. I feel like I'm in a different level now than I was. You only really think of what to do with burn. And that's the boss. Oh, can I heal with this? I can heal with this, right? Okay. Kind of want to remove my burn cards. Although, just because I'm bad at the mechanic doesn't mean that the mechanic is bad. I mean, potentially six damage. But I have to... The main mechanic of this game seems to be timing your attacks to interrupt your enemies. Which burn... I think... Uh, is only useful if you can do that. It's up RPG. 
So I feel like until I get better at that, I should do more simple things. So I'm gonna burn the burn cards. Sorry. I'm gonna burn the burn cards for now. This will also make me heal for more. Is this the card disruptors of Slate Spire esque as foretold? It is. It is. And it's got some interesting mechanics that are pretty cool. Uh, I'm just trying to learn them though. Okay, this is the same fight as we did before. We took a lot of damage, but I did heal for a decent amount. Let's hope I don't get. They have haste. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. You got yourself in a Hollow Knight recently, getting lost a ton in that game, more than in Ori and the Blind Forest, which feels bad. Okay. Alright, so that guy's gonna defend everybody, the middle guy's gonna defend everybody. So here's a challenge. All their cast times are about 1.5 to 1.75. What I want to do is do one attack on each guy that happens when they're all in the green. I have no idea how much time is in this gray bar right here. No idea how much time is in that gray bar. So, like, if I want to guess that it's like, I don't know... 1.5 seconds to go from here to there. That would mean I knew we would need to do something in less than three seconds to interrupt this guy. Less than three seconds. So I'm gonna try to interrupt you. Or three seconds or less, I should say. If I do this, it'll be pretty sure I'll... I, th I think I might interrupt that guy and defend, maybe. Let's see if I guessed correctly. Cool. So I interrupted him. I won't interrupt these guys, so I take a crap load of damage. Uh, I guess my armor didn't do much there. I'm not going to be able to interrupt him. And I go so fast, I think I could just do whatever I want here for these other guys, so... He has 10 health. So I'm going to just kill him if I can. And I have no attacks. I have a V that I can use, right? Oh, that was the wrong card. I didn't want to get rid of that one. I'm just going to do everything I can. So I got him down. There is one attack gonna come at us, but I do have some armor, right? Did I get armor? Yes. You heard great things about Hollow Knight? I've been hearing a lot of good... I've, I've heard about a lot of good things about Hollow Knight and Ori in the Blind Forest. Alright, let's see. So it looks like, again... It's weird, if your timing gets all off, you're not... Like... Doing anything to him. You're never interrupting them if the timing gets all off. Let's go ahead and just do all our attacks at this guy. Oh, actually I do interrupt him. We took so long. I interrupt that guy. Nice. We dodge the next attack. So this guy. 1.75. So this should interrupt him. It should also kill him. Alright, I'm getting better at the interrupting part. Point five second time. Let's do that. That's how long it's gonna be until he casts. I don't think I will actually interrupt him, but I might just kill him here. 
Oh, he's got armor. Whoa. My damage did zero? That's weird. I thought he only had two armor. Oh, let's gain regen. I'm gonna not kill him so I can heal. Is my goal here. Regen, some damage, and then dodge his attack. So I now regen over time. Now I should be good to finish him up. off. That's dodge. It says needs to say dodge to make that clearer. Oh, those blue armor things are dodge? I thought that was something else. Okay. Burn HP by 25%. That seems really good against bosses. I'll take that. Okay, don't step on the pot. That does purple poisony damage to us. The white squiggly line is dodged. The hand had to dodge my attack. Oh, it did? Okay, I just didn't see that then, so that was my bad. Oh, these are some weird-looking enemies. Those are... <laughs> those, that spider looks scary. <laughs> Okay. Alright. Minus one defense, but ten armor. What's the difference between de defense and armor? Defense is... I take probably plus one damage on every attack, and armor is... Armor. 30 health on that one. Okay, so one of these guys only has seven health. So if I just do this, I'll kill him. Purple, I think, means that guy's going to do a debuff. A three second cast time. Three second cast time. I think I will interrupt those two guys, I think. Nope. Wow. This is hard, man. I feel like there needs to be some clarity on this middle gray thing unless you purposely don't want the player to be able to make use of that. Which maybe you do, I don't know. So quarter of a health, what is one quarter of 26? Like eight damage or something to the guy on the left. That guy's gonna reduce my hand size over and over. You know, I'm just going to do as much damage as I can to this. Actually, hold on a sec. Uh, cancel that. This. This. I'm going to do all that. It's going to be really slow. Uh-oh. Wow, it's so slow. That I couldn't even get it down. Wow, this, is a, this spider is killing me, man. Can I, can I trade a card? Look, seriously, I need my good damage card. Jesus. Uh, I luckily interrupted them, but... Oh my god. I hope that kills him. Quarter of his health down. Ugh, it's one off killing him. Oh, it got him. Okay, somehow that killed him. I wonder how long these slow effects last. I really like the music. Could do the music, Wedley. I'd like to give props to whoever did the music. If you did it, or... Oh, wow. This is gonna hurt. Oh. He didn't do damage. Did I dodge? I wonder if I dodged him. So this plus this should kill him.
All right, somehow, I feel like I got wrecked, but we took hardly any damage. Uh, let's see here. Let's get let's get money this time. Nikon Davidson did it. He made the music for your first game, and you asked him to do a track for this too. It's really cool. I'm I'm, I'm digging it. Choose do two bonus cards. Sure. He brings energy to the battles, that's for sure. Nice. We are really tanky. Okay. So that statue on the left looks really slow. seconds um, let's do just that see if I interrupt him I think I do <laughs> dang it this is this is hard man this is one of the most confusing hard to understand mechanics I've played I've experienced in a game before <laughs> So it's going to heal again, so I need to do more damage. He just interrupted me, didn't he? Wow, this mechanic is... I feel like if you're going to do a mechanic like this, you're, you're going to have to get the player more information. Unless there's just something I'm doing wrong, which is possible. <laughs> right, so we do at least dodge this next attack, I think. Like, the the speed of these two enemies is, like, there's nothing that indicates it. I probably just need Zelda Shields, probably. Like, this guy and the guy we just fought are two completely different speeds, but there's nothing that the player can see to even guess that. Which maybe is on purpose, but seems strange if you're if the if what you're trying to push the player to do is to time things out. I feel like there needs to be some some way for the player to figure out these time things. Yeah, so I won't be able to stop this. I am gonna get in. I do know that I'm gonna get interrupted, so I'm actually gonna delay on purpose. Regen gets 21 health. This is 12. Let's do all the things, I guess. Because this guy is so slow that I'm able to do a 7.5 cast time thing. I don't know if the regen did anything. But there's... N I can't really figure out a way how the player can know that. Or learn that. Do you like the non-perfect information? It's like old RPGs with the ATB system? Okay. Uh, I don't want to do burn since I can't figure out how to interrupt correctly. Inflict 8 damage, take 2 HP damage. That's interesting. High damage, but you... If you defend for it. 
I think a countdown when they're, when they're casting would be a good move, though. Well, let's not do a bonus thing this time. If I remember correctly, the spider looks like he's going way faster than the other guy. So, if I want to interrupt this spider... I don't even think this will interrupt him in time. Wow. It's so hard, man. Right now, what it feels like is the best stat in the game would be anything that speeds you up. Like, it makes it feel like casting speed is the most important stat, which maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. Like there's a way to maintain the imperfect information, but also allow players to feel a bit more in control. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like this mechanic. What did he just dodge? I guess he dodged. Baseline for the weight bar, also new speed staff for the mods to so get better estimating. Yeah, it, it feels like with no information about your enemies and no information about what the weight bar is, you're just asking the player to guess, which is like making uh, it a, an RNG thing. I like the idea of it, but the fact that I can't. It's like. In Final Fantasy VIII, we were talking about this game the other day. Final Fantasy VIII, your main character named Squall has a, speaking of old school RPG, has a gun blade. And whenever he attacks, if you press A at the right time, you get bonus damage. It doesn't mean you do it every time, because you, you have to, you know, get the feel for it and get good at it. But at least you know when you're supposed to do it. This, there's like no way to know when you're supposed to do it. There's no visual help for the player to make that decision, it feels like. Gain haste, that seems like really strong. The baseline for the weight bar is five seconds. Okay, that's really helpful information. I feel like you could tell the player that in the game, if, unless you did and I just haven't seen it or something. I don't know how you're supposed to gain Airborne. That must be a card you get. 15 damage to all enemies and gain 10 burn. What is gain 10 burn? Does that mean you are burned? Or does that mean it applies 10 burn? It looks like that gives you burn, which seems horrible. Um... Break two of all enemies' cued skills. Well, that seems really OP. So cued means they don't have to be in the green bar, right? Can I buy that? What does the upgrade to that do? Is it already upgraded? I guess that means it's already upgraded. Six haste. Like, I don't know what's... I don't know what the number of haste means, either. What's the difference between four haste and six haste? Is it six seconds of haste? Is it 
a faster haste with a higher number. Uh, I, f I feel like these mechanics need to be fleshed out a little bit, or maybe maybe have a uh, what is it called? A, a reference, some reference that just uh, a reference in the game. What is that called? Uh, that's time in seconds. So six haste is six seconds of haste. Okay. Uh, there's a word I'm trying to think of. What is it in games where you can go to this reference thing and it tells you how the different mechanics work? Glossary? Yeah, like a glossary of things like what haste does, what burn does, what, um, uh, how, what interrupting means, what breaking means. You had one before, you need to arrange it for this? Okay. So, this... This charges faster, but has fewer seconds of haste than this one. I feel like I want everything to be faster. That's what it seems like I want to do. I already upgraded that guy. Gain two dodge or gain one dodge in a half a second. Let's let's again do that. Okay. Alright. Uh, did I go everywhere over here? Okay, that was the entrance. It's pretty cool that you walk around in the world compared to, you know, Slay the Spire or something where it's... You actually animated this stuff, which is cool. Animated your character and everything. Um, let's not do this. Okay. So if I understand what you said, the baseline for the weight bar is five seconds. Now, what is what does that X mean that he has? F5. Remove one stack of gaining a new negative status effect. Okay, so one status effect will be immune by him. So even though this is a baseline of five seconds, different enemies have different speed, which is not visually indicated anyway. But I know that this guy's a lot slower than this guy, so... Five seconds. If I do about a three second cast time, I could maybe interrupt him. And if I get... Do I have a dodge? I didn't get my dodge. Point five second cast time. If I do one other thing, I'm hoping I'll time that correctly. Nope, that's way too slow. God, it's really hard to figure this out. 14 damage to my face. It's going the exact same time as me. So if I can do something faster than him, which is this, I will interrupt him, I think. See if I'm correct. Nice. <coughs> okay. I will say it feels good when you actually do stuff correctly. I'm gonna try that. So I won't interrupt him. Let's see if I stop this guy's attack with that. Okay, that breaker didn't do anything. I don't know why that didn't stop his attack.
Why didn't I cancel his attack? It says it... I don't even have a card to look at. It says it cancels two things and it didn't do that. He's gonna heal. I'll make sure I kill him. Do I still have haste? I don't. But I will dodge his next attack. Can't break any that's not yet casting. I thought it said that it was cute attacks. I think this will interrupt him. It's beautiful. It says, cued skills. Break two of all enemy cued skills. So, if I want to do this, it still needs to be in the cast bar? Then how how is the player supposed to know what a cued skill is? I would assume a cued skill is anything that's they're getting ready to do. I'm gonna try to break him and haste myself. Oh. Oh, it was just slightly too early. Damn it, man. Okay. It was an earlier card you made, so it seems the language is outdated. It does say break, which is only when casting. Okay. Well, then again, you need a glossary that tells you that how the break mechanic works. Because as a player, what this looks like this will do was cancel whatever he's getting ready to do. That's what this card text tells me. That whatever he's queuing up is not going to happen. Um... I'm gonna try it again and see if I can time it correctly this time. So I broke the skill. Again, I don't know what that means. Let me look at his stuff here. Did he get a status effect from me breaking his skill? I think, so I think part of the break mechanic is they'll now take additional damage. I think they also maybe attack faster if you break them. Okay. Right, that'll just kill him, I think. Uh, Gargoyle gains haste on interrupt. Oh, that's a particular thing to that type of enemy. Okay. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. what do I want to do here? I kind of want to just gain money so I can upgrade my cards, I think. There will be an enemy bestiary that gives enemy data as well. Yeah, I feel like that what the game could benefit most from right now is... Oh, I don't actually even want that card. Is, uh, a way for the player to know how the mechanics work. Whether that's through a tutorial, through a glossary or something. Alright, where was the boss? Final boss. I think we're ready to take on the boss. Alright. Well, I don't know if I'm ready, but let's hope I can get some help here. Oh, that was the worst one to give him. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay. The guy on the right is doing something green. I think that's a heal. This guy's only have five health, actually. Let me do just that. Oh, I get interrupted, don't I? Okay, at least we get rid of that guy. He's gonna do something to me. So if I try to cast something while he does something to me, I just... I get interrupted, right? I think so. Explaining the game is better. Explaining the game is better. Os coming up a lot from what you've seen. Okay. He's got 12 shield. Yeah, this I got this card literally for bosses, so that will hopefully be good. Did I not kill this guy on the right? Oh, I guess I did. I feel like um it's a little confusing to see a queued up attack on these enemies on the right, like this right here when they're dead. <laughs> Unless they can come back to life or something. What is, um... I can't see the enemy. I want to know what this is. Why can't I click on that? Can't I move over there and see that? I can't I can't see what his thing actually does for some reason. Explain the game better is common feedback, you mean? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um gonna dodge. Five second cast turn. I'm gonna hope that six seconds will break, will interrupt. Oh, we're way too slow. Jeez, that's way faster than five seconds. I guess I have slow. Oh, these things are regenning? Okay, so those things aren't dead, I guess. God, this guy's just running circles around me right now. Not inspected those enemies as an oversight. Uh, are you saying I should have inspected them, or they should be able to be inspected, but that's something that you need to fix, I assume. Now I, I can't target the other guy. So, oh, this guy. Wow, this game is rough. Anybody that slows you... Jeez. Anything that slows you is like... Oh, I'm gonna just die here. Try to regen, but this is looking really bad. Yeah, he just interrupted me again. Oh, this interrupt mechanic, man, means that if you ever get slowed, there's like no counterplay to your enemies. And this guy just slows over and over, it looks like. So I need a delay so that he doesn't interrupt me. Three point three second cast time. I hope I time this correctly. 
All right, I interrupted him, and then this guy's back alive. Jesus. Oh my god, this is insane. These guys just come back to life over and over. Got that just in time. I get a dodge, get a little damage, but he's got all this armor. You can't inspect dead enemies, as these are the only enemies that behave this way. Okay. God, I need like an AoE of this for this fight. Uh, we're, we're dead coming up here, unless I can do something. Unless I perfectly time this, I'm dead. Five, six cast time. Three point seven one. I think I I think that guy I think the mummy hits me before I hit him. God. And then uh something just okay, well I did dodge at least. I have a one second cast time attack that will stop him. No, so he just kills me and there's no counterplay. Unless this will save me. I heal, but he does nine. All right, this game is hard. This game is hard. Um. How do I turn off the tutorial? Let's turn off the tutorial. Let's try another run. See if I can interrupt better and build a better deck. So you start off with three, four damage attacks, three, four armor attacks, and flames. Um, I need to build a better deck and learn how to time things better. Deal damage to all enemy enemies equal to your burn stacks. Wow, okay. Now that makes me want to play around burn. Cool. I got that, right? Wait, what? Did I not- did I have to pick that? Did I just not get that card? What? Did I just not get that card? Did it say pick one and I didn't read it and I just skipped it? Oh my goodness gracious, let me restart. Can I restart? Um... Let me go back to... I'm pretty sure I just skipped getting that. I don't want to miss out on getting something. Oh, Jesus. So it says new loot. If I don't click on Widebreaker, do I not get this? Do I even want this spell? Okay, apparently you have to... I think you need to clarify when there's loot that you need to click on the loot to get it. I'll be honest, I kind of wish the controls let you use your mouse to do stuff. You're gonna... Okay, enjoy your lurking, Rig Viper. The controls are really funky with arrows plus Z and X. I kind of just want to be able to click on things rather than having to press Z and X and arrows. Uh, okay. Of course, I don't know if that's hard to program or anything. Oh, Jesus. Okay, at least we got haste. 
Apparently, I just missed out on a build-defining deck that I uh, card that I wanted. <laughs> uh, because I didn't press the button on it. Onwards could be the misleading part. Skip or the like is probably a better word. Yeah. What? What just happened? Why did it? What are my card's doing. It's weird. Okay. Uh. So I want to interrupt you because you're doing damage. Point nine four second cast time. 1.88 seconds. 3.19. That last one's too much. Is this timed correctly? Nice. So I interrupted both of them. Did the fire damage apply? The burn didn't apply. Why did the burn not apply? I just did three damage and interrupted them. Can you explain burn again, Lovely? Because I don't see that they have a burn status on them. Oh, I didn't. They had status immunity. That's why. Never mind. Never mind. I now know why I didn't apply it. Ah, oh, that was just too early. Burn had to be on when you break the enemy. God, that seems really bad. <laughs> but it fades in like... Uh, let me, uh... Let me attack this guy and then afflict Burn. So if I remember correctly... When I applied burn earlier, um, it went away in a certain amount of time. Oh God, who goes first? Okay, so there's the burn. Yeah, it like fades away. It feels like a broken mechanic right now. Like he went three, two, one. Three seconds of burn, that's... It either needs to be a lot more burn happening or something, I don't know. All right, um... I'm gonna delay turn. Delay to go. Oh, I can't delay it again. Right, well, I can break him. But I cannot get a, an attack in here. Now I can attack. Okay. I should kill him. Flame isn't the best card for applying burn. Okay. So basically, it sounds like I need to remove this card as soon as I can. God, this guy's just dodging everything, too. Burn goes away when you break, but those cards do damage first. Since these enemies only do one action, you're never going to get to use the burn. Is it because it's one action? That seems weird. Yeah, I just need to remove these burn cards. They're uh, unless unless they're good against certain characters that I haven't run into yet. They're just the worst offensive cards that you start with. It sounds like. What does poison do? One HP every second. Well, that sounds terrifying. I hope it only lasts for a second. Okay. 
Need to rearrange the order effects that happen when the burn can happen, then the damage for the break. Yeah. Or if you rework the mechanic, take it out as 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 as, as being from uh, take it away from being a starting effect or a starting card or something. Always get more money from battles when you gain airborne. I'd like to try airborne, but I haven't seen a card that gives you airborne yet. So let's just get gold. Did I did I equip that? Charms. I do have that equipped, right? I think I equipped it. Yes. I would love to heal and gain money. Okay, well that was almost what I was hoping would happen. Hoping it would happen. Okay, gain money. I mean, that's a lot of damage, but it, it is self self damage too, but it is definitely better than three damage and a burn effect that doesn't work. Let's just not do this this time. Yeah, if I'm understanding what's happening with this flame, I'm doing three damage, I'm inflicting three burn, but three burn means it's three seconds. And your wait time, you say, is baseline five seconds. So literally, unless you stack way more burn than these cards can do, it's a mechanic you can't do anything with, if I understand it correctly. Nice, interrupted. Good. Okay, so he's got 1.75 seconds. That should just interrupt him every time. That's correct. It's useless goes up when enemies queue more attacks. Okay. So he's gonna defend, so I can ignore him and finish off this other guy, I think. Which I actually can't finish him off. If an enemy had two actions queued, you could do damage, burn, damage again. The second damage would break their second attack. I guess I, don't, I, I guess I don't understand the mechanic of how multiple attacks would work. Because when we do multiple attacks, they happen at the same time. Would it mean there'd be a second label here for something that would happen after the first time? Even then, that still means you have to just be faster all the time, it sounds like. Just doing all this self-damage. Maybe I should be gaining armor or something before I do this. I feel like getting early charms. 16 shield sounds really good. First card's cast time each turn is 0.75 seconds. Whoa! Took about speed. Man, I want both of those. I want both, but I'm gonna take this. Oh, crap. What's him, Simaith? Happy Halloween. It's September 2nd, but okay. 
Is it? What? <laughs> With airborne deal 12 damage, consume airborne. How? I mean, I guess I take this card because I can consume it and I'll heal for more. How am I supposed to gain airborne? I have yet to see anything in the game that gives you airborne. Okay, there's the boss. Let's go here. So we're going to toss all of our flames in here. If I understand this correctly, this is a dead card, because I don't have an airborne. Uh, I don't have airborne. So I'm going to consume it. Let's do some fights before we do this other rest. Uh, no. Okay, they're both gonna try to debuff me. I would like to stop both of those. 3.5 seconds. Will I do that correctly? No. Okay, I did interrupt the that guy at least. 1.5 seconds. This should interrupt that. Okay, good. And by interrupt that, I mean kill him. Shield for five. So he burned me, but thankfully that like does nothing, so I can just kind of be like, cool, sick burn bro, and ignore it. All right, no HP loss, plus three money, nice. I need to do that more often. So I have one more charm slot. I could also add a card, let's do a charm slot. Buttery knife. Gain one dodge at the start of your turn if you don't have any. Oh, wow. When you gain taking flight, gain one more. God, all these things for flight, and I haven't seen a single card that actually gives you flight. How do I get flight? I guess I get dodge then. I definitely don't want to build around a mechanic that I don't know how to make exist. It's like... If you're just playing Slay the Spire, you get a bunch of the cards that say do extra damage if your enemy is poisoned, but you can't find any cards that actually poisons your enemy. <laughs> like, okay, sounds cool. All right, that dog. Okay, 1.5. They're about the same. About the same. 1.75. Three point five. Four point five. Let me cancel. Let me make sure I'm attacking who I want to attack. I'm gonna attack you. Two point seven five. Let's see what this timing works out. Damn, just slightly too early, man. Not explaining airborne taking flight was the biggest misstep. Press F5, move down to the pink wing icon. Oh! I have taking flight? Gain one taking flight when playing a card. Gain 10 to become airborne. With airborne, you take 50% less damage from attacks and gain one energy. Holy crap, what is energy? Taking flight when playing a card. 
Gain 10 to become airborne. With airborne, you take 50% less damage from attacks and gain one energy. Yeah, that's a big deal. Okay, this is just an... Apparently, it's something you have passively. I don't know what energy is, though. So I have to play 10 cards to make this work. Unless you start with a higher amount or something, somehow. Okay. Okay. So this should kill you, right? Exactly 10 damage. Energy equals cards you can play. Then you removed energy and didn't change the text. Okay. Well, after this run through, we're probably gonna be done with this first look at because it looks like there's a lot of stuff that needs to be upgraded, updated for the player to know what's happening. Um, I like the idea of this game. I feel like there needs to be a lot of clarification for the player of mechanics and stuff. Uh, but for anybody who is, 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 is interested, this is on Steam to look at the page. I don't, is the demo, I don't know if the demo is available yet, because that's what we're playing. We're playing the demo. But you can at least look at it on Steam. It is now available on Steam to look at. Uh, what do we, what do I want to do here? My charms are maxed, so it's money or cards. I want other good, what is unbreakable? I assume that means you can't be interrupted. Power plus one. What's 12 damage? Oh, this is an upgraded card. All right. I like the idea of this, but I think I just want to take a high damage card. A lot more work needs to be done before the public demo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> I am enjoying it though. It's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. It is currently hard to understand what all you're supposed to do as a player. This should just kill him if I'm not mistaken. It's exactly the look okay. at. I just lost armor for some reason. Come the demo information will be a lot more accessible. That's good. That'll be a good. Oh wow! I accidentally interrupted him. Uh, that'll be a good improvement to the game for sure. Because if there's one thing you want your game to be, it's accessible and clear. Um. Wow, 12 damage and gain slow. Whoa, that doesn't seem good. Yeah, there's that Dragon's Fury. If I was going to play around Burn, but playing around Burn sounds like a bad idea in the current version of the game. Three seconds for 14 damage. Sure. Just taking high damage, or high, yeah, high damage cards that have some downside. Two of them, you do self damage. That one is slow. Let's, um, what burn? Oh, oh, this is the store. Okay. Flame, don't want to buy one of those. Unbreakable. One haste per second of your cast time. I don't know what that means. It sounds good, but I don't know what it means. I feel like I just want to upgrade my cards. Make this two seconds. Speed seems the most important stat in this game. Twelve damage. Well, although you're already fast. Extra damage seems good too. I kind of want to burn all of my whack. So I only have my reckless charge and my focus whack. So 
So if that's what I want to do, let's make sure we have all the cards we want upgraded that we can. So let's maybe get extra armor or make the armor faster. Maybe one extra and one faster. I think I did max out my... Did I max out my charms already? I did. Okay. Alright, let's try this boss fight. Let's try to get buffs here. Alright. Status immunity. I don't know if I apply any status, uh, status effects with what we have, so this might be okay. Six armor, 12 damage. Should just kill him, I think. If I do this in time. With their slow, I think we will. Like, uh, one thing I would like to is if you add a glossary, what haste and what slow does. Do they go half the speed? For the number of seconds it says, does haste four mean you go double speed for four seconds, or does it mean something else? I think I'm slow right now, but I don't know if I'm going half speed or what. That should kill him. Oh, I better delay turn, because he's about to do something to me. Okay. One point five six seconds. Haste is twenty five percent faster weight and cast. Slow is twenty five percent slower and cast for X seconds. Okay. That would, that would be another thing I, I would be interested to see in the glossary or whatever. Okay, good to know. Let me delay. Okay. So 4.25 seconds. If this weight is baseline of 5 seconds, I should be able to get this off in time, I think. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, what's this first gray line in the, or black line in the gray bar? It says in the haste slow when you inspect them. Oh, it does? Okay, I'll have to look at that next time I get a, I think he's about to apply a slow to me, so let me delay. No, that was a defense down. Okay, never mind. When you interrupt an enemy, they go to that black line in the weight section. Ah, okay. So this should finish him. Okay. Um... I do like dodge. Also, haste seems OP. <laughs> Although, five haste. So, what you said earlier is haste is five, 25% faster weight and cast time. So, if I understand this, I will cast for 1.25 seconds to gain five seconds of 0.2 of 25% faster. Casting and stuff. If you have to wait five seconds for the wait, I don't understand. I don't know if that's good or not. I 
guess I'm gonna get it and try to upgrade it and see if that's good. I think I picked that. Haste is definitely good, but if you have to spend cast time to get the haste, jeez. Okay. I don't know the math on that. Okay, so we know the gargoyle in black is really slow. Is there anywhere that talks about losing armor over time? Because I'm pretty sure I have a thing that makes me start with shield. And it's already down to eight. Why is my shield going down? Is there anywhere in the game that it told me that you lose sh shield? How do I get out of this? There. That you lose shield over time? Or am I crazy? You lose 50% armor when you reach the start of the cast section. Oh. Okay. That would be... That, that's good to know. <laughs> Alright, two seconds on that guy. And this is uh, one second, so I should beat him there and interrupt him. Nice. So I interrupted that time, so that was good. Uh, I think we'll do what I wanted to do. I'm just letting this other guy build up armor in the meantime. Oh, I didn't interrupt. Damn. Okay, well at least our dodge. This buttery knife is actually insane. We're just getting dodge for free pretty much every time. That's exactly the one. Whoops. Exactly the one you. That was exactly the till he healed, damn it. Point two five. This is going to be really close, but I think that'll be in time. Nice. Right, that should be exactly adult. Good. So this guy's just healing and defending this himself over and over. Let's haste. Let's try out haste this time. Although I might just kill him though. Yeah, actually I'd kill him. Oh, let's uh since I have haste, let's let's inspect it. Move and cast 25% faster. Move. Not sure why I understand move. Oh! Do I have two stacks of flight? I have two stacks of flight now. That's what that symbol is. Okay. I don't know how to get back to the stop inspecting. I wish I could click on things. There. Okay. Uh... That should say wait, really? Maybe without saying wait faster didn't make sense. Okay. So the move is the wait. Play one plus one card next turn. I don't know about that. With airborne, gain seven haste, gain seven burn. 
six damage and a defense minus one. Well, now that I know I have airborne, um, that might be worth getting. Inflict slow. Hmm. Sure. Uh, let's not do the bonus cards. Alright, so... If I gain haste... I should be interrupting that guy. Nice. I won't be able to interrupt this, though. So if he's attacking me, I just need to delay. If I don't delay, I'm screwed. Okay, now I'm slowed. But I do have dodge, at least. I haven't done airborne yet. second time that's never gonna interrupt him is it three point four four Ugh. man this guessing at times this guessing game is it's rough yeah I have to delay or I get Interrupted. Will I get interrupted if he does his slow down to me? I have no idea. He slowed me. Okay. Slowing does not interrupt. That's good to know. He just got a dodge. Okay, so I should be able to kill... Guy on the right. Slow you. Now that I've slowed you, can I catch up? Looks like I might be able to interrupt him here. Yeah, okay. So slow did good work there. So if I do just that, I should interrupt him. Nice. Except he's got a dodge. Frick. Okay, I had a dodge too, so that's fine. One more card and I get airborne. So if I do that, and then do after... After burn, will I get haste? Because I will play a card before that, right? Cool. So now I have haste. I'm also burning, but he has to do damage from, to me for that to do anything. That's the first time we've made use of the airborne, so that's cool. So that means I need to do one crappy attack to absorb the dodge. Gain armor, and then kill him. Hopefully that'll all work. Good. Armor. Kill. Alright. I mean, I'm getting a better idea of this. Just learning all these mechanics is pretty challenging. Triple whack is pretty nice. 
Game four, haste, heal two. Um, this is good if I had power. I don't have power. Still nine damage, though. It's better than our, some of our other attacks. What is this? This is the... Okay, so let's um, get rid of a whack. And the unupgraded shield. Is that what I want to do? We have two of the reckless charges. We got that triple whack. Uh, let's actually get rid of this other whack too. There we go. And I wonder if I can come back and rest. No, if, I, if I'm full. Oh, I can come back and rest, cool. All right, one whole monies. Okay, so that guy's pretty slow. Five seconds. Nice. Interrupted. Beautiful. One point seven five. This is at one point five. Oh, I should have done one other thing. Does health go just go up? This buttery knife just giving me free doges is free doges is OP, man. Yeah, that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be lethal on that guy. Oh no, he's somehow healing. I think, or maybe he had defense that I didn't notice. I need, a, I need a card that actually does damage, please. Uh, there we go. So that's nine damage. That'll kill him. Slow you. Haste myself. Uh, that's too long of a charge time. Nope! Oh, crap. I'm taking this damage now. Oh, I'm gonna get interrupted. Oh, the dodge. Thank goodness dodge saved us. Buttery knife is OP. All right, we have our dodge. So I can kind of four times three. I'm gonna find out if this interrupts me or not. Okay, that did interrupt me. So we only dodged the first four. So we should have taken the other four, I think. Yeah, buttery knife is definitely OP. get another seven haste here I think I'm just blown right by that guy okay ten health so if I do this and this that should kill him shield blast okay there's a card game, but with time cost instead of AP cost. Yes, pretty much. You can only play a certain number of cards per turn, but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's all about timing. 10 damage to all enemies and gain burn. That is the only AoE I've seen so far. Flight risk with airborne. Deal damage equal to your airborne stacks. Interesting. 
so with airborne. So airborne stacks. I gain one airborne every time I play a card. Or do I gain flight when I take a card? Uh, let's just get the AOE, I guess. Okay, so that's the heal. I probably just want to take a second. Oh, good. We can actually... Um, how often can I do this? So I'd like to get more money before going to the store, and I don't know if I can come back to a store or not. I want to see if I can... The, the final thing we'll do... You wouldn't recommend flight risk. It's underpowered at the moment. Okay, it feels like a lot of your, a lot of the things are underpowered at the moment. One step on that. Uh, yes. I want to try to end this first look of the game. Nice. By read fighting this boss. We're gonna do these two fights. We're gonna go. Go to the store and then take the boss fight, and we'll have a grand finale of another boss fight. And see if we can get our revenge on the mummy who kicked our butts last time. So 10 AoE damage, 2.5 second cast time. 3.5, I think I might interrupt him there, I hope. <laughs> it's so hard to get the timing right it's so freaking hard okay so that's him he's gonna do something to me uh in 1.5 seconds so i need to do something faster that i guess is what i'll do well if he's just gonna do that i think that's fine i should kill him Slow doesn't actually interrupt me. Get some armor. I don't know about this whole losing half your armor when the cast thing starts. It seems like a weird mechanic. Uh, he's about to do damage to me, so if I try to do anything, he's going to interrupt me, so we delay. I'm glad you added the delay mechanic. If you couldn't delay, that would be really bad. I don't have any armor. But I'm going to be able to do a heal, I think, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's not add any cards. Let's just get as much money as possible so that we can upgrade as much as we can before doing the boss fight. Okay, so a guy on the left is attacking. This. This. And I will slow the guy on the right. And I think that should be an interrupt on that guy. Him going first is fine because he's just... Oh, man. Just barely. I can knock at the timing on these different... different speeded dudes. It's gonna do all my attacks here. See how it times out. We're gonna take this damage. 
So we just gotta delay and take 14. Oh, nope, dodge. Buttery knife OP. So I only need to do... a little bit of damage, but I only have this one card that'll do damage, so we'll do that. Oh, he's got all that armor, so it didn't actually kill him, did it? Oh, Alright, it's fine. This will kill him. 2.5 seconds. Good. Oh, that even interrupted him. Nice. There's a neat balance here. If you delay there, you get to the cast much closer to when they are. Then you can actually gauge it to interrupt, but maybe you only get to play one card. Alternatively, if they're still in the middle of the weight bar, you can play three to four cards. It's more of a guess if you're going to interrupt. Yeah, I still kind of wish it was a little clearer, because I like the idea of what this game is doing. But it feels... It feels more random than I would like. I'm just gonna do everything. Since he's not interrupting me, I can just do everything. Like, I feel like it was a little, like... I wish the player had a little bit better of a chance at getting the timing right. I don't know what the answer would be to make that happen. But I, I, I wish it was a little bit... E I mean, if you have, like, multiple enemies and you have to time... If you knew exactly when something was happening compared to your timing, then you'd have to make a choice. Am I interrupting this guy? Am I interrupting this other guy? And Am I interrupting none of them? Am I waiting? I feel like if it was clear about what things happened when, that maybe the player would have more agency in making choices for what's happening. Except devoted to Mercury. You've not seen this game before? No, because it's not a game that... It's, this is a demo of a game called Card Interrupters that just got the just got put on Steam, and it's not even playable on Steam. It's, there's just a demo available, and that's what we're checking out today. Um, Webley, uh, Webley in chat here is the developer, one of the developers, the developer, and uh, um. I've been enjoying it. There's some cool stuff going on in this game. I think I just like faster every time. I think I just like faster. But it's, it's definitely earlier. It's definitely early on in the development. That's for sure. Again, I'm just going to go for speed here. Speed. Speed. Let's make everything faster. All right, every single one of my cards is now update upgraded. We're gonna. Oh, I missed one. This one. Everything faster. All right, we have. Exact enough money. We had exactly enough money to upgrade everything to max. We're gonna go do the second boss fight, which killed us last time, and see if we can have any better success with what we've done this time. Let's let's not do any bonuses. The developer just ran off to grab some dinner. Yeah, so there you go. Single developer, and it's a really cool idea. Okay. Um. The idea of being this timer at the top of the screen is telling you when attacks happen. If you time them at the right time, you can interrupt enemies. But you have limited information to go off uh, how you should, how to do this, how, do you, how to interrupt them. See, like right now, I can see the cast time of all my cards. I know how long each of these guys attacks will take to go off which is from the beginning of the cast bar it's going to take 1.25 seconds from there to there but you don't know how long it takes them to get through the weight bar yeah there's a swapping cards thing maybe i should try to swap for my um aoe if i could get that 
Can I do this once per turn or once per... I uh, Twice per turn or twice per fight? Don't actually know. So if I do this... Gain haste. Currently my cast time is at two seconds. Three point two five. I think I will go off before these guys. Who's the first one? You're the first one. Let's aim at you. And I failed. Oh, I forgot. I wait. Did I AOE? I don't even know. Uh, there was a charm that you could get that gave an extra per. Extra per turn. Delays and swaps are per turn. Okay, so I can swap for other things. 1.25 seconds. If I do this, 1.76 cast time. He's going to interrupt me, but I do have a dodge. So this should actually interrupt the other dude, I think. He's going to hit me in time. But we dodge it because buttery knife, and then we interrupt the other guy. Cool. So he's gonna he's gonna defend. I don't have airborne yet. So I'm gonna just do as much damage as I possibly can. Swap this guy. Slow sounds good. Actually, hold on a sec. Load him. Attack. Decent damage. So he's going to attack me. But we dodge it because buttery knife is OP. That's haste. I'm going to just do my damage attacks here, even though it's self damage and it's not going to interrupt him. Oh, what well, guy came back to life? Okay, we got our AoE. But I'm slowed. It's okay. That's all I'm gonna do. So it doesn't get interrupted. Ooh, I interrupted both of them. Nice. Alright. Uh whoops. No, no, I don't want to do this. Gain so I have airborne, so I will gain haste and I'll burn him. Oh, it didn't burn him. He must have had a immunity or something. All right, so he's about to attack me. Uh, only once, but I have dodge, so I can I can just do straight up damage. I think this might kill. Him? GG Cookie Time. We did it. We beat the second boss in uh, Car Interrupters. We did it. And we'll take money. Congratulations. That's it for the pre-alpha demo. Um, Dina will be joined by Marshall the Magpie and a third playable character with unique abilities. Coming up, areas that will appear in any order. A, B, C, C, A, B, B, C, A. Fresh runs every time. Master cards and charms by winning runs and customize your starting deck. Really cool game, Webley. I, I like I like the concept of your game and it's quite fun. Um, some refining of mechanics and clarity of how things work will be really helpful for the player and um, 
uh, make it even like more fun to figure out combos. I feel like some of the things like the burn mechanic and the flight mechanic, the burn mechanic just needs to be improved, I think, because currently it feels like it's not good. Maybe, maybe, maybe if there are more enemies do multiple attacks so you can use the burn, I don't know. I, like you mentioned, you have to have multiple enemies for it to, or an enemy doing multiple things to interrupt them and get the burn to do anything. But really cool. Thank you for reaching out to me. If you uh, continue to do development on the game and get more mechanics clarified and uh, content added, let me know and we'll revisit it again. So uh, everyone, you can check this out on card, called Card Terruptors on Steam. There is a demo. I don't know how widely accessed the demo, demo is. I don't think there's a public demo yet. So, But you can at least check it out on Steam and follow it and all that stuff. So again, thank you for reaching out to me. I had a fun time playing it. Definitely be interested in trying it again. For now, I'm going to take my break. First break. Sam Trash, each direction. When we come back, we're going to play some Spider-Man. So uh, as always, uh, thank me for playing. There's a lot of stuff to work on improve for the next time. It, the, the game looks good, sounds good, and is fun. Uh, if there's some clarity and more content added, I think this is you got you got you got you got a winner on your hands. So uh, you'll definitely be sure to send me an updated version. Sounds awesome, my friend. But uh, like I said, we're gonna take a break. We come back, we'll play some Spider-Man. So thank you all for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this first look at Card Interrupters, and thank you again to Webley for uh, creating the game and sending us a demo. I'll be right back in just a bit, my friends.